In this short video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about interchange padding and how to identify it on a statement. So first of all, what is interchange padding? Well, when you look at a payment processing statement, oftentimes you're going to see an interchange table or at least something that looks like an interchange table. Now, how do you know you're looking at an interchange table? Well, interchange is very complicated. There are hundreds of different interchange categories based on the type of card that was used, based on the way it was used, was it swiped, inserted, over the phone, online, right? Um, based on the type of business, was it retail, was it restaurant, was it a fuel station? So there's all these variables that can create all of these different rates. So you see this table and it's got these kind of, you know, gibberish names over to the left or incomprehensible names that don't make any sense to you, you know, retail, level two, card not present or whatever, some, some name, you don't know what it means. Um, and then over to the right, you're gonna have, you know, this is how much volume, this is the number of transactions, and then you're gonna have percentage and per item cost, right? Well, what's happened is because that is such a complicated set of information, it's very easy to inflate those costs. So, you know, a, a payment processing statement might show, hey, we're charging you the, the cost of interchange plus 50 basis points or half a percent. And that seems pretty straightforward until you realize that the interchange table actually isn't really an interchange table. It's actually got maybe another 30 or 40 basis points of markup that are hidden inside of that. So as an example, right, you might be looking at something like regulated debit, where it's normally uh, five basis points and 22 cents, but on the interchange table you're looking at, it's not five basis points, it is 35 basis points and 22 cents. Now to the untrained eye, you're not gonna notice that um, unless you know what the cost of, of regulated debit is. And even if you do, there's so many different interchange types that it's very easy to hide padding inside of an interchange table. Now, let me explain to you how to identify it and then how to use our sponsor for this video, ISOAMP, to do it for you. But if you wanna do it, the best way is through what I just said, which is regulated debit. Look at your regulated debit because that's the easiest one. It's always gonna be five basis points and 22 cents or 21 cents per item, um, depending on uh, fraud uh, protection there. But at any rate, normally it's five basis points at 22 cents. So look at your regulated debit, right? If you see that it's you know 35 basis points or 25 basis points, that tells you that there's markup. However, bad news for you, that markup can vary. Sometimes the debit isn't marked up, but the corporate cards are marked up or vice versa. So to, the way to really do this easily and effectively is just to upload the statement to ISOAMP. The sponsor of this video, it's the leader in statement analysis by a mile. We do thousands and thousands of statements a month and we automatically identify interchange padding and we show that on the proposal so that when you go to the merchant, you can say, hey, guess what? You thought you were paying interchange plus 50 basis points. Actually, let me show you all the line items where your current processor is marking up the interchange, right? Um, and so you can put that in there. So um, if you wanna identify interchange padding automatically when you upload a statement using our artificial intelligence and our automated processes, head over to getisoamp.com, check it out, or click the link below this video and you can fill out a little form there and our team would love to give you a demo. My name is James Shepard. Thanks for watching this video.